Education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. Professor Presbury back with another episode of Hey Professor. Um, again, I'm Professor Javon M. H. Presbury. If you know me in that capacity, uh, you probably know me in other capacities as well, more professional ones. You may have noticed something different about this video. I'm upgrading. I'm finally turning uh, horizontal. No, I was watching my old videos and I was like, I don't want to watch this. Like, why would I want to watch something where somebody's holding their phone like this? Again, um, it's a work in progress, but I'm, I'm working on it. So I do want to kind of circle back. So guys, like I said, this episode is about MPI, uh, Master Patient Index. Uh, every healthcare facility generally has a version of this. Uh, obviously, you'll see a lot of that in hospitals, but also physician practices as well. So what the MPI is, is a Master Patient Index. What that means is that any patient that comes through that door, any patient that is associated with that organization, any patient that's treated by that organization or that institution rather, um, is going to have a uh, MRN, a medical record number. So every patient should have their own medical record number. A patient's medical record number should be completely unique to them with the exception of, you know, um, if the patient has been there before. Now that's important. So not only are we talking about the MPI, as in every organization has a set lung, uh, a set number of MMRNs, they associate with uh, every person that visits or gets treated. So in an ideal world, right? And I'm gonna go into depth with this a little bit when I can. In an ideal world, a patient, John Doe, would present on Monday. Um, he, if he's never been there before, he'd be registered. Um, he goes on, he gets treated, he, he leaves. Mr. John Doe may present again Tuesday or Wednesday, and ideally because they should be able to put in a system, okay, this is the same person, any stay, anything done is under that person's uh, already existing MRN. What does happen sometimes is that sometimes uh, on the front end, the registration team doesn't really make sure that they check with the person. So they might ask you, have you been here before? The person will say no, or they're just not checking, first of all. And then you end up with what we call a duplicate. So a duplicate is a account number or a MRN that, is, that belongs to another patient, but that should be kind of rolled into the same thing. So the more um, duplicates you have, the sloppier your, your MPI is, and that's not a good I idea for several reasons. Um, so I'll go over it from, you know, top to bottom. So some of the pressing reasons why that'd be an issue is billing. You need to make sure that you have an accurate background of billing for all the patients visits, all the patient services, you know, for the insurance and everything else. You also need to make sure from a clinical standpoint that the mergers are done um, and the MPI uh, is being cleaned up because when you have duplicates, you could very well end up with a situation where a physician, um, is trying to access the patient's record to learn that patient's history. Yes, patients are able to vocalize their history, but what we find is that more often than not, patients are not um, good narrators of their own history. So they kind of rely on the medical record, as they should. I don't think they should take a patient's word for it. Not that anyone's lying. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people don't really understand the healthcare process, so they just say whatever. You know, whatever they think is going on, that's what they say. Um, so, you know, making sure that the MPI is cleaned up is very important. Uh, so like I said, a physician will not be able to get the best clinical picture of a patient if you have a sloppy MPI and if you have duplicates. Now, on the other end of that clinical situation, I've literally lived in and dealt with situations um, as a director of medical records where a patient is about to go into surgery. The patient's on the bed, the patient's being sedated, and the physician cannot either read the medical record or they cannot access the medical record because something wrong happened with the MRN. So you gotta clean that up. I've had people literally say to me, Javon, I need this done now because this patient is going under anesthesia and we need to really get them in with the right MRN. So that allows not only the physicians to document in the proper account, but it allows the physicians to kind of see that patient's history. And that's so important because otherwise they're, they're flying blind and giving it the physician uh, the best clinical picture um, is the 
best thing that we can do, honestly, from a standpoint of safety, also from a standpoint of uh, finance. So again, just to circle back and recap, MPI, Master Patient Index, every facility has one. Though they can look different, you know, obviously some go with MRNs, some go with account numbers, but mostly MRN. MRN is the, is the most popular way to uh, do it. So when we have a situation where the, uh, where the MPI is not clean, um, we would have to do mergers for those and eliminate all those erroneous uh, accounts to kind of bring that together to make sure that not only is the patient getting the proper documentation under the proper account, but that we're able to bill for the uh, services accurately um, that we should be rendering that that bill for. So that's MPI in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to be going over some other things in our next episode, so stay tuned. Coming up as far as next episodes go, we're going to be looking at AHIMA versus AAPC. That's a good one. Um, and also a student asked me about the difference between a uh, health administration degree and a health information degree. So you'll see those come up soon. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. This has been another episode of Hey Professor, uh, and I thank you for your time. Good night. Intelligence is not enough. Intelligence plus character, that is the true goal of education.